Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today TV. A lot is happening in the political scene, where and in the north, in the southwestern zone, when it comes to the issue of presidency come 2023, a lot of uh, political is going at the background where. And uh, some of the big guns, the the political juggernauts are actually consulting with others who have also shown interest in the same race. Some of them are thinking of, you know, combining their forces, stepping down for the bigger guns. But that's a different story when it comes to Southeast, where more people are actually giving out, you know, coming in for the political race, for the presidential race. Well, as we speak, the Apex Social Cultural Group as well is beginning to talk about what is happening in Southeast and what it indeed was. Especially the Biafran agitators are doing around the corner. Before we go into the news proper, like it, subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. By clicking on the red subscribe button beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let's quickly go straight into the news. Well, the Apex Social Cultural Group, that's Ohane's and Debo General Assembly Worldwide on Friday, said the Southeast must unite and dialogue with the western and southern part of the country. In a, bo- in a body said, sorry, I take that again. The body said dialoguing with others, other regions was the only way the Ibos could get anything from Nigeria. In a statement signed and forwarded, Ambassador Tony Chiemelu Chief Zoba, the Director General, Strategic Planning and Implementation of Ohaneza, said the Southeast must stop threatening other tribes and regions. Obi Zoba cautioned those making derogatory remarks and statements about other regions and attributing them to Ohaneza to desist. He said, and I quote, having been through Having been through many discrepancies resulting from the cacophony of voices and which has had adverse effects on the fortunes of the race, we are hereby making it clear to Nigerians and constituted authorities in the country that the only legitimate body that can speak on behalf of Ndibo in terms of matters of importance is Johannes Ndibo General Assembly Worldwide. Being the one registered by the Corporate Affairs Commission (CAC) and also and so recognized by law to do so, we also must seize this opportunity to dissociate ourselves as Ohanese, Ndibo General Assembly worldwide from those the divisive comments, such as threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria. Other tribes and regions should should Ibo not get what it desires in the project called Nigeria on the time. They specifically mainly to 20, 2023 elections. I take that again. We must also seize this opportunity to, to dissociate ourselves as Ohanese and Debo General Assembly worldwide from those divisive comments such as threatening the sovereignty of Nigeria. Other tribes and regions should Ibo not get what is desired in the project called Nigeria on the time they are specifying mainly 2023 elections. Our position on the forthcoming general election is that Ndibo, if they need any position, should build bridges and consult widely within the various divides, not asking anybody that has declared interest to drop his interest and wait for Ndibo to come and present his candidate. We urge our people that if we must have a stake in this project called Nigeria, then we have to begin to build bridges with immediate effect. We have to build a wider consultation from the stakeholders of Ndibo. Ohaneze Ndibo is urging all stakeholders to unite as one, dialogue and consult widely with the North and West to be able to establish their presence and cordial relationship before talking of attaining any certain position. So, we are not going to play along with other group of people calling themselves Ohaneze Ndibo and who are acting those that have declared their interest to run for presidency seat to drop their ambition. From the foregoing, we notice that people are battling from all angles to hijack this Ohanis and Debo for their own selfish interest. And this is happening especially from the illegitimate groups and some of the few governors trying to sh- outshine the legitimate body that is Ohanis and Debo General Assembly worldwide. We will, however, not allow them to do so. Whoever intends to do business with Tibo should know that transacting with, with such illegitimate groups means being on one's own. As for us, 
we will continue to urge our leaders to build bridges and consult widely with the various divides to be able to discuss if actually we want this project Nigeria to succeed. This is because you cannot talk of the Nigerian project and then you say you don't want you don't want to talk to the north or to the west. It means you are just talking to yourselves. It is not done. A paradigm shift is now is a must. It's needed. Wow, this is, a, if you ask me, this is so broad. And uh, they touched every angle, every corner of the, 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 the whole thing. But the truth is, Anes and Dewey is plenty. Anes and Dewey is plenty. A person should go to our group. That's double. And now we are hearing the third one. And the, I guess this one is actually one in one of them. But the problem is, he said the right thing by saying that you cannot stop any other group, other other regions from declaring for crying out loud. They have the franchise, they have the right to vote, and also be voted for. All right, why you're zoning? It's just to cause, like you rightly said, consult, build bridges, uh, threatening people that is a uh, tone if you don't like what he said. Uh, if you if, if they don't get them twenty twenty three elections, Igbo e- election, or rather Igbo um, as a presidency of Igbo extraction, southeastern extraction in twenty twenty three, they will now leave for Biafra. People see it as threat. They see it as threat, as in, so if we don't give you, so what's the essence? So if we don't give you, go to your own nation. So that's why a lot of people are saying two things, like the likes of um, uh, Nisa Arifah, Governor Nisa Arifah, said, look, it's either you're handling Igbo project, it's either you are actually running for Igbo presidency as a Nigerian and remain as one in the physical unit, or you are thinking of going, you can't, have, you can't eat your cake and have it. And if you're thinking of uh, agitating them, this is a different ballgame entirely. And I know that a lot of political elites from the Igbo extraction will not agree to this issue of uh, Biafra agitation. That gives us one option. Now we have two Ohanes and Dibu, which means when one fraction is being consulted, the other fraction gets angry and decide to they can decide to you know release a statement. Sometimes some people begin to wonder which of the fraction releases what statement. They just Ohanes and Dibu said. It's only when you get in enough and okay, oh okay, it's the other fraction. Now, if you check Arewa, Arewa has just one. There may be Arewa, consultative, Arewa youth, Arewa this, but there's only one apex, and their name has not been shared. We have Afeni Fere. Afeni Fere is only one. They don't have, they don't have, they have other social cultural groups. But Afeni Fere still means one. Ohana is two. And going forward, people will begin to wonder which of them. Is the right of Hanese? He said there's one or two that are illegitimate. Which how do people know which one is illegitimate and which one is not? At some point, if you know that the other one was illegitimate, what you should have done was to make sure that they don't bear that name or Hanese Ndibo because it's a it's a unique name, you know, specifically for the Ndibos. And now they're telling Ndibo politicians build bridges, mend fences, you know, don't don't threaten people to don't they shouldn't run. It's their right. As citizens, mm, that's we're gonna wrap it up. Last bit in our conversation is uh, it's reasonable to say, but the question how practicable is this, judging the fact that a lot of the youths out there, the of Igbo, South Eastern extraction, will tell you they prefer Biafra.